Hi, Candy Flames here today with another Yankee Candle chit chat and review. And today we're talking about Sweet Plum Sake. So welcome back if you've been here before and if you're new to my channel, thanks for joining me today. Uh, pleased to have you here. So please like and subscribe if you want to see more. I will be doing reviews on all the Yankee Candles in a large jar that they bring out this year in the original collection. Um, and I will also be venturing out and doing a few um, of the Elevation collection and maybe getting a few, few of the inspirations. But I will definitely be getting large jars of all of the um, original jars you can see here coming out this year. So this one here is part of the new collection we have out, the Sakura Blossom Festival collection. And this is the first one I'm doing out of this collection, the Sweet Plum Sake. So I'm going to jump into Yankee Candles description. So we have, end the perfect day of celebrations with a glass of sake, delicate aromas of sweet plum mixed with an enticing pairing of raspberry and rice wine notes. So we have top notes for this one, lemon juice, Japanese plum, Fuji apple, raspberry and greens. We have mid notes of red currant, black fig, man mango, sake accord, rice wine, and base notes of coconut wood, vanilla, and aged merlot. So, okay, my thoughts and opinions. So, um, <clears throat> very excited to get this collection. It's a collection six, and they bought out three now for uh, coming into spring, and I presume that they will bring the other three out as we approach summer. So um, I wanted to start with this one. This was one I was looking forward to getting. So huh, this has been quite a funny candle, if I'm honest. Diff my thoughts and opinions have changed on this candle quite a lot. So on a cold sniff, it was one of them ones that, you know what it's like, you get a Yankee candle and you smell them and some of them you're like, mmm, this is lovely. And others of them you smell and you don't like. You're like, oh no, I don't like that. And then there's a few that you smell and you're sort of like, hmm, oh, and you're not sure of. This was one of them. I, on a cold sniff, I really thought I was going to like it. And it was like, oh, I'm not quite sure. And to me at first, it was like something's not quite right there. There was something sort of sticking out, uh, not blended quite in, you know, as like I like a nice smooth and it all blends and comes together. There was something sort of sticking out to me and it was just like, I'm not sure on this at all. So I lit it up for the first time and um, the throw seemed a little on the light side when I lit it up for the first time. And what I could get from it um, was the plum side of things. And I wasn't too impressed. So um, the second time I lit it up, I decided I'm gonna give this a good old go and I actually had it lit for about six hours. Now, I know Yankee Candle advised us not to go past four, but, you know, I did have it lit for six hours. And I got quite a wax pull up. Um, you could probably see, but down to about here. So um, I did give it a good old go. So the second time this was lit up, um, <laughs> it was quite strange. So it started off, again, quite a light throw. And my husband said to me he didn't like it. He could smell like he was describing it as a plastic smell. And I, I did understand where he was coming from. There's a, there was a very sort of strange smell with it. Um, and I thought, God, this is going to be one of them ones that I'm not too keen on and I don't like. So we actually went out for a walk. Uh, my daughter was here watching the candle, but we went out for a walk with the dog. And when we came back, I was quite surprised because I thought it was quite a light throw. But when we walked into the house from being outside, you could smell it. As soon as I walked into the, you know, came in the front door, you could smell it. And it had come from the living room, all down the hallway, right down to the front door. And I was quite surprised that you could smell it. And um, I changed my mind on it being a light throw. And I changed it to like definitely quite a good throw not really strong but a good medium throw it's it's hard to explain it's very light and delicate but it travels everywhere if that makes sense and um when we came back into the living room and sat down watching telly you know spending some time while this was still going the longer it had been going for the better it was 
and like I say when we started off something was not quite right it wasn't blended smoothly how I like there was something in it that just didn't quite seem right my husband described it like I say as plasticky but as the hours went on it turned into a beautiful candle and it was like really really nice so I'm not sure whether it's I have had this before just to let you know on some Yankee candles I have had this before where I've burnt them and on the first burn I either they're too light or I'm just not that much into them and as they go down the jar they get better well, like I say, by the time this had been going on for about four hours, it, it was beautiful. It was really nice. It was a strong, you know, like I would give it a good sort of seven out of ten on the throw. Um, and what I could detect from it, I could not get the lemon juice, but I definitely get plum. So the first thing I'm going to say to you how this smells to me, if I had to describe it to you quickly, is I can get a really deep, fruity, syrupy, wine and that was how it smelled and it like I say at first wasn't doing it for me but then it got beautiful and I could smell I can't actually detect the vanilla which is really un, you know I usually that really hangs out doesn't it but I can definitely get the aged merlot I can definitely get the coconut wood there's a slight coconut there in the background 100% I can get the plum the apples the raspberries the red currants and maybe the fig but the uh, rice wine, you know, I do get that whiny note. This is like I say, it's like a, a fruity wine and you really can smell that wine. And it turned out beautiful. I loved it. We were sat there and I said, this smells nice. So then I asked my husband, obviously, because he thought it smelled like plastic. And he said the same. He said, actually, it now smells really nice. So that is how we got on with this one really different <laughs> because it turned out to be really really nice but started out wrong so if you have tried this i'd really be interested to know down below how you got on with it and what you thought to it so like i say a seven out of ten throw definitely is what i decided at the end on this you could smell it everywhere and it was really nice i just it's like i say it's just like a fruity wine it was gorgeous um i think it brings like a good atmosphere it sort of brought like i don't know it'd be great for if you're having a party or perhaps a bit of new year's eve that would be good vibes wouldn't it um or just if you've got people coming over i think that once it got to that place where we was really enjoying it it's one of them ones that i would say that everybody likes you know them sort of fruity ones there's not a lot of people that don't like that fruity sort of smell so it's good for if you've got people coming over and entertaining it's going to work great in a kitchen or a dining room i don't know whether it would go so far as to cover kitchen smells but um you know i think it would work nice to be positioned in a kitchen or a dining room great in the living room also not not a bathroom one to me this one um i don't feel bathroom vibes with this but i i <laughs> I think I would purchase again. I think I, when I first had this lit, like I said the first time, there's no way I was like, God, this is going to be one of them ones that I'm just going to sort of use up. I won't be getting this again. And now it's completely changed around and I will be purchasing this one again. Very strange one. Um, I've now got it lit. This will be the third time that it's lit and I'm going to let it go again and enjoy it tonight. Um, and I'm looking forward. The other two I haven't lit yet, so I will be trying them throughout the week. So yeah very excited to hear if you've tried this one and if you haven't and you think you like that real fruity sort of vibe very syrupy as well that syrupy fruity wine vibe then try this and see what you think because I would recommend it so also also today I wanted to talk about what's coming up um over I've been looking over on the waxaddicts.co.uk website and on there they have got some things that we have got coming so um, i'm going to actually show you rather than read them let me see if i can get this to focus in around here Let's see if you can see that so we have is it focusing right confetti macaroons there i'm not going to go reading it all but that's coming out in the inspirations we have wild daisy meadow 
we have duvet day these are all the inspirations elderflower spritz We have Citrus Spice. I'm definitely picking up this one. Pick and Mix. And this one looks nice as well. Island Blooms. So we then got some news on the Autumn 2022 Autumn Collection. Available from July. I don't know if you can just see there. We have some pictures. Um, and we have Autumn Nature Walk. Golden Autumn, Soft Wall and Amber, and Apple and Sweet Fig. Okay. So all that's coming up. Also some news here. Oh, you can't see that at all. Oh, you might be able to see it. I'm just trying for you. There we go. We have Witch's Brew returning. The spicy sweet aroma of exotic patchouli sorry i'm trying to read across here casts a captivating spell so we have top notes a woody sweet clove and cinnamon mid notes are jasmine and woody and base notes are patchouli woody vanilla so i have to say i'm a witch's brew virgin i know that most yankee candle fans love this um, so I am looking so forward to trying this one. I really am. This is going to be one I'm going to be rushing out to get. And I think I'm probably going to stock up on it because I love the sound of this one. So then we move on to the Christmas collection. Available from September. So we have um, Snow Globe Wonderland. Let me just move in there so you can see there the notes. The Snow Globe Wonderland notes. We have peppermint pinwheels. We have spun sugar flurries. Sorry if I'm not getting this quite right, but I thought it was easier than putting in a load of pictures. Winter night stars and snowflake kiss. And they're all upcoming. So the only thing it doesn't mention on here is um, it doesn't mention what we've got coming for Easter. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Because I really wanted to know, like, because I'm looking forward, I'm hoping on something chocolatey. So if anyone's heard what we've got coming out there for Easter, please comment down below and let me know. Um, and I really pray it's something chocolatey because I love the chocolate candles. As you know, I'm a big fan of them. So yeah, um, but that's all for this week. And next week I'll be back with another one, obviously from the Sakura Blossom Festival. Um, I'm not sure which one yet out of the other two. I will be trying them out. That is Majestic Mount Fiji and Sakura Blossom Festival. So I'm not sure which one yet, but I will be coming back to you with one of them next week. Like I say, please like and subscribe. I will be buying every single in these jars, in the original jars here, one that they bring out this year in a large jar and reviewing them for you. I'll also drop onto some of the elevations, like I said, and some of the inspirations. Um, and fill in the gaps with some older ones and uh, yeah so that's it really so stay safe have a really good week whatever you're up to um, like I say please comment I love to read all your comments and I will be back next week bye